I've been a developer and educator for more than 10 years. I've built hundreds, probably thousands of applications relying more and more heavily on these AI tools to help me build them, but building cooler and cooler stuff than I've ever been able to build before. And today, I'm gonna give you my five top tips for getting the absolute most out of Claude Code. Actually, I did five last time. I'm gonna give you a bonus tip for sticking around till the end. Let's get into it. Number one, come up with a plan, or get Claude to come up with a plan. Don't just jump into building the application, explicitly ask Claude to write a detailed plan with clear steps and different phases of the overall project. This allows you to review the plan first, add or remove anything that's not quite there, and then get Claude to zoom in on one phase at a time so you can build it and then review it and then commit it to source control before continuing on. This allows you to identify problems early and make sure you and the robots are working towards the same goal. Number two, ask clarifying questions. Explicitly tell Claude that if it's not more than 90% confident in how to proceed, to ask you clarifying questions. This reduces the eagerness of Claude. So if you ask it to just like center some text in a button, it doesn't bring in 300 libraries and write 50 tests and actually change the color of the button and the brand colors overall because it thinks that would be a little bit better. By getting Claude to ask you the questions, you can identify those missteps early and provide clarification. Number three, provide different options for how this problem could be solved. This forces Claude to do some thinking and researching first to provide you with a summary of tools that are available or different paths that you could take towards a solution. You can then make a much better educated decision about how you wanna move forward. Number four, save things to memory. By hitting the pound symbol, you can tell Claude to remember something about a recent interaction. It might be a particular library you wanna use, or it chooses a nice color for something, and you wanna set that as a brand color. This will get saved in a claude.md file and read in as context to all future prompts. Number five, exit early. If you see Claude going off in the wrong direction or touching files it probably shouldn't, then hit escape. Provide some context, some more clarification around what you want Claude to do differently and save everyone the headaches and you those precious, precious tokens. And number six, my bonus tip, provide additional context. You can drop in images, feed in error messages, or configure MCP servers to give Claude superpowers, which is exactly what we do in this video right here. We use the Superbase MCP server to expand Claude's capabilities and even go as far as building a game that can be controlled by this synthesizer. But until next time, keep building cool stuff.